We've all experienced this one way or another. We're being constantly reminded that a threat is here, one we can't even see. I practice social distancing by walking in the middle of the street. I have ordered the closure of Chicago's lakefront from north to south. I tried to get an interview with the police officer and crossing guard, but they turned me down because they were busy working, which I had to respect. The bus was completely empty. Not really a surprise, but still felt a little strange. What did come to me as a surprise was finding out that Chicago's quintessential landmark, Millennium Park, was closed off. It was an eerie sight to see the being stripped of a massive crowd of tourists and sightseers that usually engulfs it on a perfect 70 degree day. The artist gets mad when it's not called Cloud Gate, but that's equivalent to calling it the Willis Tower. Chicagoans are faithful to how things should be called, like water fountains. Less people on the streets is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's calmer, and less busy than usual. On the other, it's a risk to be in public. I wanted to document this as best I could. I didn't get the interview I wanted, but I'm proud of how it turned out.